Section 2.3 is titled Subtracting Integers. When we're subtracting integers, we need to remember that we are actually adding the numbers additive inverse. Some of you know this as adding the opposite or same change change. So if we look at a minus b, what we want to do is add the opposite. So we change the subtraction sign to addition, and then we change the sign on the b to a negative. So you can see on the right how it becomes a plus negative b. So if we look at the example, 2 minus 7 becomes 2 plus negative 7. And after you've done the adding the opposite or same change change, however you he hear it, then you're simply adding integers, which is what our previous lesson was over. So let's find each difference. 6 minus 15. We want to add the opposite, so 6 plus a negative 15. Now we need to remember our rules for adding integers. These two numbers have opposite signs, positive 6 and negative 15, which means we actually need to subtract them. 15 minus 6 is 9, and our answer takes the sign of the larger number. 15 is bigger than 6, 15 is negative, so our answer is negative 9. Number eight, we, or number two, we have negative seven minus eight. Same change, change, or add the opposite, becomes negative seven plus negative eight. Now we have two integers whose signs are the same. So we add the numbers, and our answer takes the sign of the integers, negative 15. Four minus 15, we change it to adding a negative 15. These numbers have opposite signs, positive four and negative 15, so we subtract the numbers, 15 minus 4 is 11, and our answer takes the sign of the larger number. 15 is bigger than 4, and 15 is negative, so our answer is negative 11. If you'd like, pause the video here and see if you can do these three on your own. Negative 3 plus 12, adding the opposite, so we say plus a negative 12. Now we have two numbers whose signs are the same, so our answer is negative 15. Number five, we have nine minus 14, or nine plus a negative 14. Those numbers have opposite signs, so we need to subtract them. 14 minus nine is five. 14 is larger than nine, so our, our answer is negative. Number six, we have negative 10 minus eight. We add the opposite. Two numbers whose signs are both negative, so our answer is negative. Now let's look at a few examples that are a little different. We're still subtracting here, but now the integer in the back is negative. So that doesn't matter. We still add the opposite. You're still changing the sign of the back number. So we have 9 plus 2. Well, that's 11. On number 8, we add the opposite. 3 plus 5 is 8. And on number 9, we have 18 minus negative 2, or 18 plus a positive 2, for an answer of 20. Notice in all three of those problems, we ended up adding two positive integers, so our answers were all positive. In class, we'll work on worksheet 2-3.